In quantum field theory, award Takahashi identity is an identity between correlation functions that follows from the global or gauge symmetries of the theory, and which remains valid after renormalization. The Ward Takahashi identity of quantum electrodynamics was originally used by John Clive Ward and Yasushi Takahashi to relate the wave function, renormalization of the electron to its vertex renormalization factor F1, guaranteeing the cancellation of the ultraviolet divergence to all orders of perturbation theory. Later uses include the extension of the proof of Goldstone's theorem to all orders of perturbation theory. The Ward-Takahashi identity is a quantum version of the classical Noether's theorem, and any symmetries in a quantum field theory can lead to an equation of motion for correlation functions. This generalized sense should be distinguished when reading literature, such as Michael Peskin and Daniel Schroeder's textbook. An introduction to quantum field theory, from the original sense of the Ward identity, the Ward-Takahashi identity. The Ward-Takahashi identity applies to correlation functions in momentum space, which do not necessarily have all their external momenta on shell. Let be a QED correlation function involving an external photon with momentum k, n initial state electrons with momenta, and n final state electrons with momenta, also defined to be the simpler amplitude that is obtained by removing the photon with momentum k from our original amplitude. Then the Ward-Takahashi identity reads where minus e is the charge of the electron. Note that if has its external electrons on shell, then the amplitudes on the right-hand side of this identity each have one external particle off shell, and therefore they do not contribute to S matrix elements. The Ward identity. The Ward identity is a specialization of the Ward-Takahashi identity to S matrix elements which describe physically possible scattering processes and thus have all their external particles on shell. Again let be the amplitude for some QED process involving an external photon with momentum, where is the polarization vector of the photon? Then the Ward identity reads, physically, what this identity means is the longitudinal polarization of the photon which arises in the Xi gauge is unphysical and disappears from the S matrix. Examples of its use include constraining the tensor structure of the vacuum polarization and of the electron vertex function in QED, derivation in the path integral formulation, in the path integral formulation. The Ward-Takahashi identities are a reflection of the invariance of the functional measure under a gauge transformation. More precisely, if represents a gauge transformation by epsilon, then expresses the invariance of the functional measure where S is the action in as a functional of the fields. If the gauge transformation corresponds to a global symmetry of the theory, then, for some current J after integrating by parts and assuming that the surface terms can be neglected, then, the Ward-Takahashi identities become this as the QFT analog of the Noether continuity equation. If the gauge transformation corresponds to an actual gauge symmetry then where S is the gauge invariant action in SGF is a non-gauge invariant gauge fixing term. But note that even if there is not a global symmetry, we still have a Ward-Takahashi identity describing the rate of charge non-conservation. If the functional measure is not gauge invariant, but happens to satisfy where lambda is some functional of the fields phi, we have an anomalous Ward-Takahashi identity. This happens when we have a chiral anomaly, for example, 